what we will have out here is a story on the topic of diversity. Uh, the reason why the both of us are here is because I want to marry Patricia. 25 years old. My daughter is 35 years old. Naveen may be young, but he has always behaved like a matured person. And I believe him when he says that he will support Patricia. What do you know? You're just a woman. When I was watching the play, I thought that it very nicely captured what was going on in Singapore currently. And I thought it very nicely captured people's inner thoughts about um, racism, gender bias and things like that. Don't care what seeing Harley's what Eurasian. He's a Kaling Kia! How dare you call my son by that name? He may be different. I respect and accept him for who he is. My daughter will marry a Christian man, not a Muslim, not a Hindu, not a Buddhist. But you're being unreasonable. During the last part when we were talking about Christians and, and religion in general, then I felt something. Because I myself is a Christian and I felt that uh, the issue matters to you as a person only when it concerns your personal life and all. Uh, let them decide when they are older. Okay. So what if they decide to not be Christian? It's okay. Uh. Are you really okay with that? Are you okay with that? <laughs> I'm not sure whether is it like a more traditional view that yeah, um, the man is of like um, higher up yeah, than women. People should start listening more and I feel that that is really important. So beyond just actions or words, I feel that people should just start listening. What can both the majority and the minority do for each other? So I think it's important to discuss things that make us uncomfortable sometimes. Only when we are uncomfortable can we truly push the boundaries of what we think and we try and you know understand what maybe other people think. That is how I think people achieve a true understanding of what diversity truly means. It strikes a chord with people because there is a sense of um, very similar to that people don't usually get when they are having this sort of conversations with people one-on-one. -on -one. It can get a lot more confrontational than it actually is. So that space is a kind of a good space for people to discuss uh, things like they are that they are uncomfortable with because they understand a little part of it that they are exploring the issue itself and not targeting anybody in particular.